This is Required Watching, where we watch the essential films from the list of cinematic influencers and look at them through the lens of filmmaking and how to move forward. My name is Trey Epps, and uh, today we're doing something a little bit different here. I am talking about something that I, I think I'm really passionate about, and you'll see a lot more on this channel, um, anime. And not necessarily manga, but sometimes they're a bit into it like uh, they're, they're, they're a bit hand in hand right um but today we're talking about the one piece live action which i am so so excited to talk to just about anyone about um it doesn't come out for a few more days so this is a consider this a non-spoiler review of what to expect uh, uh initial thoughts um about one piece and uh yeah but, but should, should we get into it let's do it um I am super excited that this show has been made. I know there's all been a lot of back and forth with uh, with the creator of the series and Netflix, and I know there's just generally a lot of back and forth uh, about 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 adaptations, about about the creators and how we relinquish some of those rights and and interpretations to production companies and studios to make things more commercial, reach more audiences, etc. And I think very publicly with One Piece, um, there's been a lot of back and forth between Netflix and its creator to make a really good adaptation, something that toes the line between being a one-to-one, -one, which I think um, anime series are... Anime series are more one-to-one -to, -one to its manga uh, counterparts than let's say like a Harry Potter book is to, a t you know, to the movie. Um, so I know there's been a lot of public disputes on that. I know this, this show has been pushed back quite a few times in terms of its production or post-production for that matter. Um, and it, as a fan, and I'll preface this by saying that I have not read the manga, but I have been watching the TV show um, and I haven't even completed it. There are over 1,000 uh, chapters of the manga and there are over 1,000 episodes of the show. So I am coming at this as someone who is not a diehard fan, who knows every, <laughs> who knows all the, the mythology, knows every detail and can recall every moment of the show. And I know there are people like that and I salute you for that, but I am still making it through this very hefty um, saga of, 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 uh, of uh, anime and it's amazing. I'm really really enjoying it and uh I, I can't wait to continue so i say all that with like don't come at me i i don't i don't need that life don't come at me about about what i'm saying about this show again as someone who just loves tv and film and someone who's um i would say much more recently getting into uh, uh japanese tv and japanese film and, and manga and anime as a whole um i'm not gonna pretend to know it all so there's that but in terms of what to expect, I think fans are going to be pleasantly surprised by how good this is. I haven't heard, I haven't heard much about about, and I'm sure I'm sure at the very beginning there was some some discourse, but I haven't heard much about the casting, um, which I find interesting. I'm sure there's a lot of people who are like, yeah, uh, Luffy isn't meant to be Mexican, or, I mean, if you ask me. Uh, uh, Usopp was always black, but whatever. Um, <laughs> uh, or Sanji is not meant to be. I think he's British. I'm not even quite sure. Um, but like you know, these there's always a lot of conversation about casting around like books who have like rapid like fans. Um, and I was worried about that, but I think I think uh, I forget the actor's name, but the the guy who plays Luffy, he's so very he's so very not white that i appreciate that like <laughs> i appreciate his accent i appreciate i appreciate all that i think he's really charming dude and once you get over to me once you get over the excitement of it all like it's happening it's here it's all going on and you really take a minute to to let the show and the story kind of fade over you i think you really get involved with with the journey the same way you did at the very beginning you know if, if you've if you watched or read or when you get into this there's this rhythm that I think One Piece has that is quite fun. It's it's almost like one of those like heist movies where the crew has to get together. And I think this series kind of encompasses, you know, the, our, our main crew at this point anyway. Um, 
And I think, yeah, I think the acting is really, really strong. I think you really get a sense, especially as the series kind of moves along, you get a real sense of, of friendship and, and the bond that these guys have with each other. Again, it's really good to see these, to see it in live action. It's something about it that um, really ties you to, really ties you to the characters, ties you to the stories. If, if your question is, what do the effects look like? Um, man, it was something I was really, really, really worried about. But, and I think, if I have to be really honest, I think that's what, um, I think that's what took so long. And it, what, it, I think that's what took so long to push things back. I think it was more of the, the VFX. I think it was more of like making sure the story made sense um, in relation to the, 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 the manga, the original materials. And I think it, I th- actually think both of those things are a really, really good job. There, season one uh, essentially ends at the end of, it's like up until the, the Arlong Park arc of the story and um I, I guess i guess that's a spoiler i'm not sure i'm not sure if it is i know we know that arlong is in the series so i'm not sure if that is so i'm just confirming we get up until the, the end of that uh we get the entirety of that arc and yeah it's, I, I think the vfx are actually really really good seeing luffy stretch and and be rubber man is absolutely incredible um i will say kind of the breakout you know what? There's actually a few things because the characters are so different. So there are a few things that really, that really stand out to me. For Luffy, it's it's just how charming the actor is. I mean, I think Luffy as a character is not, char- not necessarily charming. Uh, he, he's a bit of, of a goofball to me, um, and, and I, I think you know the show. The, I think the show. Speaking from the show, anyway, I think the show. Yeah, the show has a lot of mechanics to split him up and get him in a lot of situations, and it's been interesting to see how how the show puts these characters with extraordinary abilities in these situations and how they get out of them. Again, we're talking about a thousand episodes, a thousand chapters, and it continues to feel fresh. Back to the to the VFX, so um, yeah, I, I think everyone does a re- like, I think it really. Listen, I've seen a lot of really bad VFX, a lot of really bad VFX. Even in some of like the most recent Marvel stuff, there's been moments where I'm like, this is gross. Um, and I don't have that same feeling here, considering that we're in live action. And that's not some sort of pass. I think they do a really great job of executing on the VFX. Um, again, specifically Luffy, that I think makes it really fun and like, yeah, like, is it going to be the same as the show or the manga? Like, no, but, 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 I think it gets really effing close. I think it gets really, really close of showing just how great uh, Luffy is as a, you know, as someone who ate the gum gum fruit. Um, but I think, uh, like, like, I think Usopp is also someone who's charming, and I think those two characters together, despite, like, I think, I think, we don't get like their true friendship until further along, but I think even in this short little eight episode arc that we do have, we really get a sense of how they're kind of the same, the same token of the same coin. Especially when we get to um, some of the further arcs on the line when their friendship is tested, um, it's really great to see this, like uh, this the seed kind of kind of being being uh, sown right now. Um, Sanji is. I think Sanji's probably in it the least, mainly because he's kind of picked up last. Um, again, we're talking eight episodes here, so we, we do get a good bit of Sanji, but I don't feel like we got enough Sanji. Or the person we get the most of, the person who's like the most badass, and I think everyone kind of already feels this way, but seeing it in, in live action is kind of incredible, is... is um... Oh, what's happening here? Izora. Zoro. Zoro is so, so good. And I was a bit worried about how we would see his three sword style um, in live action. And we get a lot, we get a couple of moments where it's really on display. But um, I think just generally the sword fighting and the, the action of this, of, of his, all of his moments really play a really good part and really excite me for what's to come. Um, I don't know if anyone's ever played Ghost of Tsushima on PlayStation or 
yeah on playstation but it just gives me that vibe of like someone who can really who can just kick ass with swords and be again being able to see that in live action um is really exciting like yeah i i i i, I don't know if zero as far as, far as like the fan community if zoro slept on or not but zoro is so so badass and i think the actor who plays him is is really really great i forget his name i forget all of the names again kind of initial thoughts after checking it out so i don't have any of the information in front of me but i believe i read that his father is a stuntman so fucking good job because it was it, like I, I think if anything it rubbed off on him just a little bit it was great um <laughs> um and I, you know what i was actually also worried about nami I was really, really worried about Nami. I, I think not, Nami. I think holds the group together for a bit of time until we figure out, you know, the reason that she's trying to get the maps and the whole Arlong situation. And she, yeah, I think she really holds together. And that actress, despite again, again, I think she brings something out of the character that isn't necessarily there in the show or or manga. I think. I think in general, I think what I'm saying is that like all these characters have a bit of humanity to them that really allow for for the audience to be sucked into to who they are. Now, I don't know what this experience would be like for someone who has never seen the show or doesn't or doesn't know the manga, who doesn't know what's going to happen. I have no idea what that experience is like. But um, going into it, having having some reference was fun and badass. And you look for these Easter eggs and you look for these things. Um, you want to see how the how the wanted posters are going to play a part in this. You want to see the going merry. You want to see, you want to see Usopp and and see how. For me, it was like the for the, again coming from the show how exaggerated, for instance, like Usopp is. You know, he's like this bubbling uh, crybaby in the face of danger, but also this uh this uh this like you know loud mouth kind of guy with a lot of bravado and and all that. And I think again the actor brought a lot of charm to it, but also but also brought like the the, the scared the scared uh, uh, boy that is Usopp, um, and yeah, I, I'm actually quite excited. I'm excited to see people like Nico Robin come in, and I'm not excited to see people like Chopper, because I think I think the VFX were actually really good, and I think the scenarios in which they put the VFX and the fights and all that stuff were under really good conditions. I think. Um, but I'm not sure how Chopper would play a part in this. And at this rate, we're flying like it's season two, if not season three, we're like we're flying into Chopper. One of the things that I, I think my criticism, I feel like I'm maybe rambling a bit too long here, but maybe my criticism with the show is I guess re listen, I as someone who has watched it was like more than halfway in the series. I enjoyed the burn of the series. I, I know that I'm going to get 20 minutes, a little bit less probably, because like a, a 20 minutes of story, and I'm going to be following these arcs for for quite some time. Like the arcs go on for tens of episodes, if not hundreds of episodes. Um, and it, it just it, it felt so we get. We, you know, we get the Marines chasing these guys down, kind of like how we do in the original series. And then there's a moment where, is this a spoiler? It's a, spo it's a spoiler. If you don't want to hear the spoiler, I'm just like, skip ahead a few seconds. But we get this moment where everyone realizes that the Marine that's chasing the gang is like Luffy's grandfather. And I, re I remember that being such a big reveal and such an impactful moment because of because honestly because of how much had gone on up until that point um yeah how much had gone on up until that point that it felt big it felt bigger than maybe what it was and i think they put it into this so soon and i think the marines play a much bigger part in the show as the antagonist that and i'm on the on the structure of television, understanding what the what the antagonist is and like this this clock of the marines trying to catch them and these marines following them and like just a, like a, a day behind their their adventures is good, but I'm not sure if the follow through on the end is as successful as it wants to be, because again in the show in the series, it's 
like the Marines are honestly much more of like background figures. Like we we will have like the occasional adventure with them. We'll see Kobe. We'll like we'll like we'll have these moments, but they aren't as constant as I think the show is making it out to be. And I think they pushed a lot of things around in order to make them like the big bad of the series. When yeah, I I just don't I just don't know what they're doing with the Marines. And the Marine Marines is uh is probably the the most the most glaring thing for me and you'll 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 get to see it a bit um um I, I, listen i think i think that's it i i truthfully really enjoyed watching the show um i can't wait to see what happens with season two but from that point i think what like what does what does the series the live action series as a whole look like actors grow up they get older they don't want to, you know, if we're doing eight episodes a series, it's just it, it's just going to burn out really, really quickly before getting to any of the good stuff. Or we're going to cut out a lot and pick and choose from different arcs in order to get there, which feels like a bastardization of what people love so much about this. I think when you have such a big fan base that has been with the series either from its inception in the 90s or just catching on with it and still committing a big chunk of catching up and continuing the series, um, it feels really difficult to pick and choose what goes into a show and what doesn't. And if it continues to be only eight episodes um, once a year, especially with the actor strike, who knows when the next series is going to come out, it's going to get really difficult really quickly. Um, and it's a, it's going to be a real shame that I think the show will be cut short, um, cut short it, because I, I do think it's a really good, faithful, um, exciting ride for people and fans of the series. And I, I really hope that people who aren't fans of the series become fans of, of the live action and go back and, and, and either read or watch the, the original series. But what am I, what can, what can I say? Um, are you excited for the show? Are you excited for this? Listen, I'll I'll even do this. This is the first time I'm doing, I'm doing I'm doing a TV show, which I have like one other video in the works about a TV show, but I usually cover films, and I'm get again doing a lot of like Japanese Jap Japanese films and Indian films and South Korean films, but in the land of One Piece, let's do a quick giveaway. I will buy someone the entire manga series. Or, and they get the shoes, or uh, a subscription to Crunchyroll, um, or Funimation, depending on where you live, I think. Uh, and all you have to do is subscribe and leave a comment. Uh, just just leave, leave any comment, honestly, any comment at all. And I, I will choose a winner. Uh, I'll choose a winner on the 31st, on premiere day. So, uh, yeah, let, let me know, let me know. Uh, yeah, subscribe, leave a comment, and someone will get either the entire series to watch on TV or the entire series so far to read. Until next time, again, I'm Trey Epps. Peace.